the one thing that often happens uh, is that we have, as I said, chains of multiple operations. So for example, in this very first formula, when we first add and then use the result of adding in a subtraction, we're chaining the addition and the subtraction. Okay. And, and when these chains get complicated, it can be hard to keep track of how they work. Okay. So this is where it is useful to write out the operations results step by step. So here's what I mean. Okay, so let's focus on um, this first formula. Okay, so this is a formula. Um, and uh, well, how do we calculate it if we're doing it by hand? Well, um, I'm going to actually add a comment to show what I mean. This is a comment, so the computer is go going to ignore it, but it helps me, uh, again, explain these steps or chains of operations to you. So, um, so we could kind of write equations that simplify the formula, right? So, you know, the first thing we might do to this is maybe we keep the subtraction, but we do the addition, right? So maybe the first thing is to, to do is to do the addition and the result will be 45. And then, and so, so the subtraction is still there, right? And then the second thing we might do is to say, okay, now we're ready to do the subtraction because uh, both uh, 100 and 45 are just numbers. We can do that, so the result is 55. So we really are doing two steps, okay? So here's another example, okay? Uh, so uh, this formula, uh, well, I guess to do it, the first thing we need to deal with is the five times four. So that's 20, and then I'm gonna leave the subtraction intact, okay? And then the second step is to get 19. Again, there are two steps because we are, there are two operations, and we actually have to do one before we do the other. Okay, so um, this is a very useful way to write out the steps involved in a chain of operations, and we're gonna be doing more of that in this class as well. Okay, now because this is basically what the computer is doing, actually uh, for simple formulas, there's a way to see the chain. Okay, so let me show you uh, this thing called the stepper. So if you go to the upper right corner, you see there's this other button, step, not run, but step. If you click on step, Okay, here's what's going to happen. We're going to be actually looking at the formulas inside the definitions window. So here is our first formula. Okay, and it actually shows you step by step what's going to change. Okay, so here's the first step. Right? The first step is we take the green stuff on the left, that's the addition and we turn it into the result 45, which is highlighted in purple on the right. Okay, that's the first step. In fact, we already did that by hand, but this is automating it. Okay, and if we want to see the very next step, we could just click the next button, and the next button is going to um, show us the next step. Um, now we do the subtraction. Okay, and then we can do the next. Okay, so that's done, and now the computer is moving on to the second formula. It's showing you how five times four becomes 20, and then 20 minus one becomes 19. Okay, so that's a stepper, and it's really useful to help us write these sequences of steps. But sometimes you might actually find it easier to just write the sequence of steps by hand, uh, because um, it's, the stepper can be pretty stubborn about what is the next operation it wants to do. But you might have a better idea to sort of um, go to uh, what matters for the syncing process that you're going through. Okay, um, so uh, we're going to be doing a lot of chaining operations in this class. So I hope you get used to this.